Welcome back, college football fans. Today, I'm going to be discussing my week two predictions for every game, starting from the date that they are being played and then going through time in that order. So let's kick it right off. It'll just be like a brief few seconds for each matchup and maybe some thoughts along with it. And at the end, I'm going to show and briefly discuss my um, top 25 after week one. So let's get right into it. Kansas at Coastal Carolina. Um, Lance Leopold is a good head coach, but Coastal's going to win big here. North Carolina, A and T at Duke. David Cutcliffe's on the downfall, but he's going to win here. North Dakota at Utah State. North Dakota, do not confuse them with North Dakota State. They're not nearly as good. Utah State's winning here. And UTEP at Boise State. Boise State's going to get revenge after a bad loss against UCF. And now, those are Friday games right there, so let's just move right on to Saturday. Not many games Friday. Only one ranked team playing in Coastal Carolina. So Saturday, we got Illinois at Virginia. Illinois literally beat Nebraska, and then Brett Bielema went, strolled right on to lose to UTSA. Bronco Mendenhall is hammering Illinois here. Virginia way over Illinois. Western Kentucky at Army. Um, Army win here, in my opinion. VMI at Kent State. Kent State's going to score a lot of points, just like the MAC has normally done since last year. And Oregon at Ohio State. I, I look at this game, and Oregon should not be ranked 12th, and Ohio State will prove this by winning by 30 points or more. Alabama State at Auburn. Auburn's going to have another 60-plus point game and be even further overrated. South Carolina at East Carolina. Um, I think East Carolina was favored last time I checked. I think South Carolina's going to somehow eke out the win here. Pittsburgh at Tennessee. Pitt looked amazing. Joe Milton looked just as bad at Tennessee as he did in Michigan, despite playing weaker um, teams. Just proves that Joe Milton's kind of a bust overall. Pittsburgh by a touchdown or two. Georgia Tech against Kennesaw Kennesaw State. Georgia Tech lost to NIU and um, the GOAT, Rocky Lombardi, who transferred away from Michigan State. Um, and I honestly think Georgia Tech is going to barely eke out a win here against this FCS team. Norfolk at Wake Forest. Wake Forest wins by a million here. Same with Youngstown State at Michigan State, and same with Miami of Ohio at Minnesota. Indiana State could give Northwestern some problems. Michigan State looked good, but I think they're being overrated by the FPI at 22nd, honestly. Um, Northwestern is far worse than we thought. Michigan State's Going back to them is a little better than we thought, but Northwestern is way worse than most people thought. It makes sense because they didn't return a lot of people, and that's when Pat Fitzgerald has down years. Indiana State could give somewhat of a problem, but I think Northwestern wins. Tulsa literally just lost to an FCS team, and Oklahoma State will get Spencer Sanders back, I believe, this game. So Oklahoma State by a mile. Florida... Emory Jones had some issues. They didn't score for a quarter against FAU, who is gutter trash without Lane Kiffin, but they'll beat South Florida here and continue to improve under Mullen. Morgan State against Tulane. I'm not picking an FCS team over the team that almost upset Oklahoma. Tulane by a few touchdowns. Wyoming at NIU. um, Just... My mind wants to go with NIU here because Georgia Tech, while being a bottom feeder power five team, I guarantee you is just about as good as Wyoming is. I don't follow Wyoming much, but um, North Car- Northern Illinois win here. Why not? Middle Tennessee at Virginia Tech. Uh, Virginia Tech's going to dominate this game harder than they dominated North Carolina. Rutgers will just run through Syracuse like a hot knife through butter. Um, Dukensi, Dukesni, I believe is how you pronounce that. Probably completely butchered it. Dukwisni, Dukwisni. Okay, let's just say that. Um, they're gonna get destroyed by Ohio. Toledo versus Notre Dame. Notre Dame. I, I'm sorry, Toledo. Um, Notre Dame will not suffer in the same capacity they did against Florida State against you. You're a MAC team. Florida State actually has some talent get lost. Purdue will 
um, fluster Yukon before immediately falling off the face of the earth and firing Jeff Brom. Robert Morris is going to lose to Central Michigan. Georgia will destroy UAB, and everyone will declare JT Daniels the immediate Heisman winner before he again goes back to being worse than Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud. Texas A&M will say the same thing. They will say Haynes King is Johnny Manziel against Colorado before being slapped back into reality by Nick Saban. Cincinnati will beat Murray State. Penn State could have some issues with Ball State, and I'm only saying this because you're going to be looking ahead at Auburn. Ball State returns a lot of people from last year, and they didn't look good last week. Could be underestimated, could have some problems, but uh, that's just theoretical. I'm saying Penn State wins here by a few touchdowns, like they did against MAC teams in 2017. Florida Atlantic will lose to Georgia Southern. UMass will get obliterated by Boston College. Buffalo could give Nebraska some problems, but new head coach, their star running back, left for the NFL. Nebraska under Scott Frost gets win two. California lost to um, Nevada, who barely won that game. And California is not good. They're gonna get just. They're gonna get like shanked by TCU. Temple at Akron. Um, Temple. Temple here, I th- I just think wins this game. Air Force against Navy, Navy's beating Air Force here. Alabama against Mercer, it's going to be Alabama seventy, Mercer nothing. South Alabama at Bowling Green, uh, j- just give me a Bowling Green victory. Iowa at Iowa State, that's a top ten matchup right there. I was thinking Iowa State would win earlier this season, but I do think Iowa gets the win here. Iowa looked far better against Indiana, who I still think can be an above-average or good team if they fix some issues. Iowa State lost to an FCS school. Well, almost lost, I'm sorry. The score was so close. It was 16-10. to Not what anyone expected from Iowa State. Um, Clemson and South Carolina State. Clemson's going to look good on offense um, before realizing they still have issues to fix. But Tony Elliott and Clemson basically released a statement saying they're going to review their offense. Clemson ain't going anywhere, I don't think, for now. West Virginia is going to beat Long Island University. Western Michigan will beat Illinois State by a mile. Charlotte should, but you never know, beat Gardner-Webb. UTSA should, but you never know again, beat Lamar. Portland State, I almost wouldn't be shocked if they beat Washington State, but I do think Washington State gets the win here. Marshall will beat North Carolina Central. Houston will beat Rice. Um, UCF will put up like 50 against Bethune-Cookman. Oklahoma will beat Western Carolina, though it would be really funny if they somehow lost to Western Carolina. Texas could have some issues against Arkansas. Granted, Arkansas didn't look good in their week one showing, while Texas looked pretty good, but you never know. It is Texas, and I still don't believe they are back yet. Wisconsin against Eastern Michigan, their offense looked horrible. This game in Eastern Michigan, I think, has been on the rise in recent memory. Give me, like, Wisconsin struggling to score 30 points and Eastern Michigan scoring a touchdown or scoring something. This game will kind of further frighten Wisconsin fans. Miami versus App State. Either this will be the game that um, seals Miami's chances of going anywhere and derails them, or Miami is going to hang 50 on App State, and App State will only score like 20 or 10. Give me the latter. Miami gets a huge win here. They're just fine. They lost to the by far the best team in the country in Alabama in an opener, mind you. Mississippi State against NC State. NC State has to travel to Mississippi State, but Mississippi State didn't look too good. They looked far worse than I thought they were. Give me NC State here. Um, Florida International hosts Texas State and will beat them. Same thing with Louisiana Tech and Southeast Louisiana. North Texas at SMU. Give me SMU here. Old Dominion will beat Hampton. Grambling will lose to Southern Miss. Louisville will beat Eastern Kentucky. Liberty travels to Troy. I think Liberty wins here. Baylor will struggle to beat Texas Southern. Kansas State will beat Southern Illinois. Stephen F. Austin will lose to Texas Tech, which will, I think, be 
probably one of Texas Tech's best starts in a while, being 2-0. and Memphis will beat Arkansas State. Louisiana will beat Nichols. New Mexico State versus New Mexico is like a burning trash can against a, a, a less burning trash can. New Mexico wins here. Ole Miss will blow out Austin Pay. North Carolina will blow out Georgia State. If they don't, then North Carolina fans, you should consider signing a petition to get Mac Brown to retire for a second time. Kentucky will beat Missouri in what is probably going to be a dogfight. Indiana will find a way to hang like 50 on Idaho. Maryland will hang like 70 on Howard. LSU, um, Ed Orgeron actually plays his son who's the quarterback of McNeese State. LSU still, by like 40, they might allow a little too many points to McNeese State, though. Florida State against Jacksonville State. Um, Florida State win. Michigan, I'm about as confident that they will bludgeon Washington as Ohio State bludgeoning Oregon. Give me a 30-point win by Michigan here, if not more. Same thing with Ohio State against Oregon. Vanderbilt will beat Colorado State. Uh, and, and like this is going to be the battle of two teams that lost to FCS teams, but give me Clark Lee over Steve um, Adazio. San Diego State will beat Arizona. Cal Poly will lose to Fresno. Utah will probably bludgeon BYU. USC will beat Stanford, though Clay Helton has a history of um, re- just choking on cookie dough on the sidelines and losing to bad opponents. Arizona State will lose to, well, no, that that's heresy. UNLV will lose to Arizona State. I'm sorry. I'm trying to go fast here. There's so many games to cover. Nevada will beat Idaho State, and Oregon State will beat Hawaii. There you go. Those are my predictions, all of them. Those are all of the games played, all of them. If I went too fast for you, slow it down, because if I went in detail with like as many games as I could here, it could probably make a 30-minute, if not longer, video. And that's just me rambling a little bit not and not completely studying. You want me to study for all these games? Dude, you could make a documentary on all these games and predictions. But enough of whatever dry, bad humor I have. Let's move on to my top 25. So my top 25 entering week two, I actually think this is pretty accurate in all honesty. Not much bothered me here. Iowa being at fifth kind of bothered me, but I do think them and Cincinnati are pretty close. I think Clemson, with how their offense played and how Cincinnati's defense is as solid as it is going to be, Mike Tressel honestly probably looks like the better coordinator than Marcus Freeman. The, the guy who succeeded Marcus Freeman looked better than Marcus Freeman. And and that that's not even Marcus Freeman's fault. I think that's Notre Dame's fault, period, amen. They, in my opinion, I joked, they have a cultural problem with tackling. I've seen it against Michigan. I saw it against Florida State. I saw it in every top 10 matchup they play in, basically. Notre Dame... People could say they're a little low, but I had them even lower last week. They deserved a rise after just being the team that didn't make mistakes when they faced Florida State. Oklahoma and Iowa State, I don't get how people can still have Oklahoma in their top six. Like, why? If you can barely beat Tulane, um, I know the Big 12 is not the greatest conference, but you can't win a playoff game if you can barely beat Tulane. Like, who are you? Granted, Clemson in 2016 almost lost to Troy at home, but Clemson has proven itself in like huge games. Oklahoma hasn't exactly. That's why I dropped them. Penn State I had unranked. They're the team that jumped by the largest margin, in my opinion. Um, and I think along with that, you'd get a team. You'd get UCLA and you'd get Iowa too. Those teams jumped by great margins. UCLA, Penn State, and Iowa made huge jumps. Wisconsin fell by 10 places. Indiana fell by 12. Um, Oregon fell by like 6. Oregon was 19th in my rankings. North Carolina was, I believe, let me check, I believe they were 11th. 
No, they were 14th. North Carolina also took a big tumbling out. Minnesota was 22nd. Teams that are right on like the borderline of like my top 25, North Carolina, Boston College, Oregon, Minnesota, Michigan, Oklahoma State, kinda, and I'm only saying that because I know Spencer Sanders was out, um, TCU as well, and then you also, I, be, I mean, Louisiana as well too, and I'm trying to think of anyone else. No, basically, I think that's it right there. USC would have been one of those teams, and they jumped right in at 23rd, sneaking right in. That's all I have to say for today. Let me know what you thought about my game-by-game predictions and my top 25 down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and again, comment your thoughts below. Again, like and subscribe. It's just that simple. Join this awesome community. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you around.